Hey YouTube, how's it going? Mevlin back here again with another Alchemy Stars video and for this one we are going to be taking my first ever unit to Ascension 3. Uh, for this one though, we're going to be using Carlene. Carlene will be my first A3 unit. I just use her everywhere so it makes sense that Carlene will be my first A3. And for this vid, uh, we're going to be looking at where to farm, uh, Ascension mats for your A3 units, uh, some tips and tricks, how to optimize, you know, don't waste your energy. And then we're going to test out if we can see the difference. If the difference between A2 at level 50 is that huge when you get to A3, try to see if it was worth it all along. Okay, in terms of getting your uh, unit to A3, there's no simple magic trick here. There's no easy, simple way to get to A3 ASAP. You have to be grinding and you have to be grinding a lot. So the requirements for A3 is that one, you need to be level 50, which requires you to be A2. And uh, the materials are going to be 20 of these tier 4 elemental ascension materials, 30 of these tier 3 elemental ascension materials, and you also need 10 of these tier 4 faction materials. Now the bottleneck here is going to be your tier 4 elemental ascension materials. And that's because as you can see here, uh, there's only a low chance to get them in chapter 7 and in chapter 8. There's no guarantees, there's no guaranteed way to get this in any of the stages until you know we get further chapters maybe in chapter 9 chapter 10 we could uh, farm these a lot easier but for now uh you'll be farming mostly chapter 7 and chapter 8 with a low chance and aside from that you'll be crafting it here in the workshop now in terms of the tier 3 uh, elemental materials do not farm chapter 5 or chapter 6 it does say it's a regular drop here in chapter 5 and chapter 6 but technically it is also a regular drop here in chapter 7 and chapter 8 uh, let me show you that here right now. If you go to chapter 7 or chapter 8, you have two of these. You'll be getting two of these uh, blue chests. And it gives you one random of any of the tier 3 blue ascension materials. So it's guaranteed to be water. And it's guaranteed to be uh, tier 3. And you get, you're always getting two of these. There are three different kinds. So you could get unlucky and not get the right one. But it doesn't really matter. If you're farming your tier 4 ascension material, you're also farming your tier 3 ascension material as well. Alright, the last one is going to be your faction, your tier 4 uh, faction ascension material. And this one is really easy to farm. Uh, you only need 10 of these two, so you don't have to worry about this. There are regular drops here in chapter 7 and chapter 8, which means they're guaranteed to drop. Uh, you cannot craft this, but they're guaranteed to drop. You just gotta run one of these 10 times and you've already got all 10. You could also farm it here in resource, here in the section where uh, you get resources for upgrading your equipment. Uh, there is an RNG chance to get tier 4 uh, faction ascension materials. It is RNG, it's, you might not get the right one, So, but if you've been farming here, you'll probably get a couple of these tier 4 faction materials. Also note that some units, someone like Curleen, are pretty lucky in that both their uh, tier 4 elemental and their tier 4 faction materials share a resource. So like if we look at uh, water cr uh, crystal cluster, uh, it is in 7, 9, and 8, 7. Nope, it's in 7, 9. And if you look at here in the daybreak stone, it's also in uh, 7, 9. So double check see which uh which one you should be farming try to get both of them at the same time like i said carlene is some of the lucky ones and not all of them have this uh so here uh, for carlene you should be farming seven nine because you are farming two of the three materials that you need the last thing that needs to be mentioned is going to be the workshop this is where you'll be crafting most of your tier 4 elemental ascension materials in order to unlock the workshop though you do need to have your bridge at level four i probably have to create a separate video showing you how to get your colossus up and running asap and in order to start crafting tier 4 elemental ascension materials it does require you to have your workshop at level 4. it might take you a little bit while if you're not farming for farfly again like i said that's going to be a separate video but in terms of crafting uh it's a tier up system so in order to craft tier 2 materials you need four of the tier 1 in order to craft tier 3 materials you need four of the tier 2 and in order to craft tier 4 materials which is what we're looking for uh, you need to have four of the tier 3 you need two copies of the same one so for the water crystal cluster you need two of the water crystals this it's the same kind and then you need one of the other ones 
Now remember back in chapter 7 and chapter 8 in the story, every time you're farming one of your tier 4 ascension materials, you're also farming some of the tier 3, it should be two of the random copies. This is where you use your excess tier 3 materials, you will be using them to craft your tier 4, because the chance of getting your tier 4 is pretty low, most of your tier 4 is going to come from you crafting here in the workshop. Now, don't forget that all the heroes also require a tier 3 ascension material. So for Carleen, she needed 30 of these water flare rocks. So I'm not going to craft this anyways because I don't have water flare rocks to begin with. So I'm probably going to be farming 7-9 uh, today. Try to get as many of this as I can while also farming some of these tier 3 materials. The bottleneck here though is going to be the atomic reagent. These regenerate fairly slowly. I think they regenerate 30 per hour, and I don't know if we could increase that because if I hit here and upgrade, uh, it doesn't say increases. So I think it'll be 30 flat per hour. And the amount we need is 135, I believe. So if you are using this to uh, craft your tier four, it requires 135 of the reagent. So that's like four something hours. And so it's going to take a while, so make sure to get your workshop up and running ASAP. It doesn't have to be tier 4 immediately, but just make sure that you always have this ticking and that you don't have your atomic reagent cap, that way you're always regenerating this slowly. You are allowed to uh, trade in your fireflies for atomic reagents. It is a 1 to 1 trade, but it is actually not 1 to 1, and the reason is because uh, atomic reagents regenerate a lot faster. Uh, atomic reagents uh, recover 30 per hour. Fireflies, on the other hand, only recovers 13.2. So technically, it is not a one-to-one -one trade. And fireflies are really, really valuable to, in uh, upgrading your Colossus. So I don't suggest doing this until you have fully upgraded your entire Colossus buildings. All right, finally, now we can start farming here in 7.9. Uh, let me do a five run here, show you what I get. So on my first five run, I managed to get two of the water crystal clusters. And on our second run, we managed to get two again. Note that there's five of the tier four uh, faction ones and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the tier three ones. Like I said, it's always guaranteed to be two uh, tier three elemental ascension materials. And you're always guaranteed to get one of the tier four faction materials. So it looks like from the first one, we got um two copies of this and i got two copies again so i want to say it's around 40 percent it is a small sample size so it looks, it looks like 40 percent seems to be a decent number uh in terms of the tier 4 elemental ascension materials looking at my carlene's ascension i just need to craft one more of the tier 4 elemental one and farm some gold and we should be good to go so yeah, since we got a little bit lucky and managed to get a lot of the water flare rocks, we don't need to craft any of those. All I needed is one of this. And let me craft that one. And after farming a little bit of gold, I finally got my Carlene on max ascension. I'm so excited. The best thing about ascending your units to ascension 3 is that you are going to be getting a new sick art. Dude, this horse looks really, really cool. Uh, so also uh, for Ascension 3, I think you get around 10% of stats uh, all around. And also you get a new skill. Uh, for her, uh, for Carlene, it gives her the ability to pierce on water tiles for 40% damage on the tile behind it. Which is great for bosses and mobs that are medium size and large size. So like anyone, anything that's a 2x2 two two or a 3x3, three three, she's able to do 40% increased damage. I am so happy I got this and we are going to go test her out for a little bit. In terms of testing, let's use Frostbire 37. Uh, it is a boss that, you know, requires a lot of DPS. So I figured if I could one shot this boss, that'd be a cool video. I uh, probably have to reset the tiles over and over until we get a, a decent uh, turn one tiles, unless if we get super lucky here. No, we do not. So let me reset this until we get the perfect tiles. All right, after a couple of resets, uh, this is what I got. This might be good enough because the boss did change to fire and they are sort of connected. And fortunately, fortunately, sorry, all as being a homie and connected all the blue tiles together. Uh, Let's use our vice skill here. 
pretty nice. Use our Hydrad. I think I can Aurora time here and then lap around and here somehow. Oh, I'm pretty excited. You don't want to know how much time I spent <laughs> re-rolling uh, trying to get the perfect run. Alright, let's Aurora time. Wait, no. Aurora time here. And then let's loop around uh, afterwards. I think we got this. I'm pretty sure I one-shot this boss now. Yeah, it's already at 70%. That's good damage. That's also good damage. It's also pretty good damage there. And then in the left around me, watch that. This dude, finally. I spent too much time re-rolling for the perfect tiles with the perfect element. Uh, that doesn't kill yet, but now we Aurora time and we lap around all the blues. Hey, that was kind of sick. <laughs> And it should be dead. GFG. Hopefully you guys found this video informative and enjoyable at the same time. Uh, let me know in the comments below which unit you guys are planning to A3 first, or if you've already, you know, A3'd someone. Let me know which hero you guys A3'd, because I'm really curious what the different answers are. But until the next one, I will see you there. Peace out, boys.